I got a request under one of my videos. Somebody wanted to know about something called Irish sea moss. Irish sea moss. What is Irish sea moss? Irish sea moss is kind of a red seaweed. It's a marine vegetable. It's similar to seaweed and sea algae. It contains minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants. And those are what give you the health benefits associated with sea moss. It's a spiny sea vegetable. It's primarily harvested for health supplements and for uh, used as a thickening ingredient in various foods. Uh, so it's um, scientifically known as chondrus crispus. It's a type of algae, as I said, seaweed. It grows in waters along the rocky Atlantic coast, primarily between North America and Europe. It's an edible sea plant similar to other seaweeds, algae, and other fam familiar sea vegetables like kelp or dulse. Dul dul and like those other uh, seaweeds, it's, very, it's a great source of iodine, which is the main trace mineral that's quite important for the uh, function of the thyroid gland, production of thyroid hormones. It has, sea moss comes in different colors, co shades of green, yellow, purple, red, brown, and black. Uh, what are the nutrients? A four, ta four tablespoons of raw Irish sea moss provide 10 calories, a half a gram of protein, three grams of carbs, half a gram of fiber, 10% uh, of the d daily requirement for iron, 7% of magnesium, 4% for zinc. Uh, it's also, like I say, a good source of um, antioxidants, a good source of um, iod a very good source of iodine. Now, uh, what the the uh, the 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 uh, stated health benefits of sea moss are: it's good for immunity, thyroid health, the digestive system, and joint health. Uh, it's also, like I say, it's been used as a, a f food thickening ingredient. Uh, it's the only natural source. So you might, you might have seen this on a lot of foods. It's a a uh, substance called ca uh, called carrageenan. Carrageenan. It's a thickener that manufacturers use in various foods such as ice cream cottage cheese, some non-dairy milks, and even baby formula. Okay, what are the potential? Like I say, the potential uses of sea moss are it can support thyroid health because of the iodine content. Uh, there's one study of fish, believe it or not, salmon, found that supplemental seaweed improved immune modulation and response. Now, you know, I, I don't need to tell you that what happens in a salmon doesn't necessarily also occur in a human being. So this one you take with the little grain of salt, uh, salt that, that sea moss will increase immunity because it was shown in a study of salmon. Now, the uh, one thing that sea moss might do, seaweeds are a good source of probiotic bacteria, which could help support a healthy intestinal microbiome. So that's one thing that, that sea moss is good at. Uh, some people think that seaweeds contain dietary fiber that can help you feel full and prevent overeating. Uh, there's a particular compound in seaweed called fucoxanthine that, that uh, some studies show have anti-obesity effects. Uh, some, some other studies show that some components in, in Irish moss can help reduce cholesterol and blood pressure. Which, would, which are two risk factors for cardiovascular disease. A mouse study found that uh, Irish moss, the, the compound fucoxanthine, I should say, was able to reduce elevated blood glucose levels in mice. There's no scientific evidence that sea moss promotes fertility. However, it's been used as a traditional fertility treatment. Again, not a lot of scientific uh, evidence for that. The big problem with sea moss is that a lot of this information, as you can tell, is anecdotal. It's based on traditional usage. There's not a lot of scientific evidence to back up these claims. Also, the nutritional value of sea moss can greatly va uh, vary. It's difficult to know what's in it and what exactly it contains. Some types of Irish, Irish sea moss can, can contain far more nutrients than others. Uh, again, much of the nutrient and fatty acid content of the of sea moss and sea vegetables depends on the environment in which they grow, just like vegetables. It depends, uh, you know, the amount of nutrients in vegetables uh, depends on the soil in which they grow. It's the same with this uh, 
this, these type of sea vegetables. Um, the, uh, now, while, while sea moss is a good source of iodine, that can also be uh, variable. Some types of sea moss can contain more iodine than others. Uh, excess amounts of iodine, as I pointed out in past videos, can actually have a reverse effect and cause hypothyroidism. Uh, there's an expression for it, which I don't recall at the moment, but I wrote about this recently in my Applied Metabolics med uh, publication. Uh, but what, it, what, what happens is when you take, uh, when you ingest too much iodine, you get it, uh, while iodine is needed for the production of thyroid hormones, if you inge ingest too much iodine, it has a reverse effect, kind of turns off the production of thyroid hormones. And it causes hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid. CMOS uh, also has a possible risk of, of uh, ha containing heavy metals because seaweed absorbs and stores heavy metals in high amounts. Uh, so you got to be careful of that. But the risk of tox toxicity does is low. One study examined the levels of 20 heavy metals and eight types of seaweed from the waters around Europe and Asia. They found that the heavy metals did not impose any serious health risk. Uh, but you still should, if you do use high iris sea moss, you should uh, t t you know use it in moderation just as a form of protection. Some people uh, are allergic to seaweed or iris sea moss, and uh, it's not very common, but it can happen. If you have any signs of allergies, such as it it itchiness or hives, you need medical attention. Uh, others, there's other more severe allergy symptoms, such as throat swelling or difficulty breathing, that requires emergency treatment. Uh, most health food stores and online retailers sell CMOS in a raw, dried form. You can comp you can prepare a gel from this at home. That's one of the most popular ways it's used. To prepare a CMOS gel, soak raw CMOS in water overnight, then rinse and blend it with new water until smooth. Transfer it to a container with an airtight lid and store it in the refrigerator overnight to gel. Some supplement companies offer seaweeds already prepared as a gel. According to the manufacturers, you can consume this directly or add it to food and drinks. Other ways to consume sea moss include mixing sea moss powder in beverages, sprinkling it over yogurt or oatmeal, or adding it to different meals. The shelf life, shelf life of sea moss depends on which form you purchased it. So uh, as with most prepared foods and st cold storage leftovers, it's probably best to practice caution and keep them for, for, three, uh, for three to five days to minimize the risk of foodborne illness. So um, anyway, that's, I think that's about it, really. That's all I could say about sea moss. Uh, you know, I, I guess the person wanted a video on this because it's somewhat of a fad. Certain uh, so-called influences are pushing sea moss Irish sea moss as a cure-all, which it is not. You know, it's it's a it's a fairly healthy substance. Uh, nothing magical about it. Like I say, it's very weak on vitamin mineral content. No protein, very little fiber. You know, it's more of a fad. It's kind of, again, I bring this up. I've said this in past videos. I compare it. It's kind of like, kind of like those those green powders that they sell, which contain tiny amounts of nutrients. Uh, they don't equal in any way the nutrient content of f fresh fruits and vegetables, yet they're extremely expensive. Uh, there's one company that sells a, a month's supply for $100. I personally consider, if somebody were to say to me, what is the most worthless overpriced supplement sold in, in the world today, I would say it's green supplements. They're a complete and total waste of money. And I know there's a lot of people pushing these supplements, but to remember that one of the uh, biggest sellers of these green supplements, and I'm not gonna mention the company name, they make over they make over $2 billion a year selling this worthless product. So they have a lot of cash on hand to pay off these so-called influences to push their shitty product. Now, some of these people have advanced degrees after the name, and, if, and unknowing people will figure that, well, these are knowledgeable people. If they say these green powders are great for your health and do all this and that, I'm going to buy it. And that's how the companies make money. It's a complete and utter waste of time. And whoever pushes that really show, has very little integrity. Uh, if you're pushing a green supplement or advocating it, you have zero integrity, in my opinion. So that's all I'll say about this stuff. 
So anyway, uh, if you want more, inf if you want the true information about nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, ergogenic aids, hormonal therapy, effective fat loss techniques, supplement science, including which supplements work and which ones don't, women's health and fitness, and many other topics. My Applied Metabolics covers more topics than any other digital publication on the entire internet. It's the only one that comes with over 60 years of experience and knowledge. So subscribe, subscribe today at www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an email, and I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolic Facebook page where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and general health and medicine. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolic webpage where each day I post new information on, uh, uh, I'm sorry, email portal, I, I got backtracked. The email portal is for subscribers only, where subscribers can send me short questions on anything they read in Applied Metabolics or anything that comes to mind that they're curious about related to nutrition exercise, and I will answer their questions in appreciation for their subscription to Applied Metabolics. Uh, this service or this, uh, this bonus, if you want to call it that, is only applicable to those who are current subscribers of Applied Metabolics. And I promise you that if you read Applied Metabolics, it's 20 to 40 pages every month, no ads. I guarantee, absolutely guarantee you will learn something from every, uh, every issue because the topics I cover in Applied Metabolics are not the usual topics you see in a lot of these YouTube videos and a lot of these blogs. These are, the stuff I cover is kind of what they call off-the-road stuff that's extremely practical and useful, but a lot of people just don't talk about it or write about it. But it's in Applied Metabolics. And I write, I've been a writer for over, almost, over, well, close to 50 years, actually. Uh, uh, and uh, I know how to write for the public. I, I, I will, the, you don't have to have a medical dictionary to read Applied Metabolics. I, I, uh, <coughs> I, I um, explain all scientific terms, so it's fully understandable. Anybody who has got, as far as the sixth grade, will be able to fully understand everything in Applied Metabolics. So, Subscribe today. Again, AppliedMetabolics.com. And uh, what else can I say? If you think my videos are of any use, please, uh, or if you think they uh, give you some uh, benefit, feel free to subscribe. They're completely free. I post a new video every Tuesday. And please let others know about the existence of this channel. I'd like to have this channel grow a bit. Uh, it's kind of been stagnant lately. You know, I'm not sure why, but... Uh, I, let me put it this way. I mean, if you want the honest truth with no BS, no crap, uh, you know, no silly graphics with people laughing for no reason at all, then you'll subscribe to this channel because I'm going to give you the 100% truth about these kind of topics related to health, nutrition, and, and general health. So uh, if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Thank you for listening.